Today we're at our deep tanks where we're going to take a closer look at our coral reef tank and our shipwreck tank and learn a little bit more about these South Florida habitats and the diverse species that call them home. Reefs are one of the most important and diverse ecosystems on the planet. They take up about 0.1% of the ocean floor, but support 25% of all life in the ocean. In Palm Beach County, Florida, reefs are found in depths of 30 to 60 feet of water and a little more than a mile offshore. The coral diversity is less than that than the very south end of the Florida Reef Track and the Caribbean. What we do have are Gorgonians, which are soft corals, sea fans, sponges, and small pockets of hard corals on the bottom. Corals are animals that share a special symbiosis with algae. The algae lives in its tissue. The color we see when we look at corals is provided by the algae. One of the common symbionts in corals is called zooxanthellae. The algae are given shelter and take in the wastes from the coral to fuel photosynthesis and in turn produces oxygen. Sugars and amino acids are then returned to the coral, which help it to make calcium carbonate the main component of coral skeletons. Every element of the reef is colonized by something. Cracks and crevices inhabited by crab, eel, shrimp, and small fish. Some of the inhabitants you can find at our coral reef habitat are angelfish, porkfish, parrotfish, French grunts, porcupine fish, green moray eel, and blue tangs. Stressors to our reefs include climate change, pollution, and physical damage. Corals are living animals that can get sick, just like us. When stressed, they can expel their algae, giving a bleached appearance, indicating a decline in health of the coral. If the stress is removed, the coral can reabsorb the algae. If not, it will die. We can do our part, by reducing our carbon footprint, being careful when dropping anchors, not touching reefs when snorkeling or diving, and switching to a reef safe sunscreen. Lastly, we are going to check out our largest aquarium at Gumbo Limbo, our shipwreck tank. Found in deeper parts of the ocean after ships sink, they become a habitat for fish to live. Florida began sinking artificial reefs in 1918 and leads the country in artificial reef permits. Commonly used materials are decommissioned ships and concrete structures like reef balls, reef jacks, and concrete rubble. Anything going into the ocean permanently is cleaned to ensure that anything toxic is removed so it's not going into the environment. These structures are made as safe as possible to ensure that when divers and fish enter, they are not harmed.
Many fish call this environment home, like jacks, grunts, snappers, groupers, tarpon, sailfish, and mackerel. You can find some of these fish in our shipwreck tank at Gumbo Limbo, along with barracuda, spadefish, look downs, angelfish, southern stingrays, and a green sea turtle. Protecting artificial reefs means doing our part to maintain sustainable fisheries by following local recreational fishing guidelines. Additionally, you can use tools like the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch app. This app allows you to monitor the source and the status of the seafood you've consumed. We hope you enjoyed learning more about these amazing habitats. See you next time.